Hi, everybody. This is Steve Kodan. Probably, you are like most people, you think that feng shui is really only for helping somebody sell a house. Well, you'd be very, very wrong about that. Actually, feng shui can be used in a lot of ways to help find the perfect home for somebody, whether you're building it or buying an existing home. Feng shui is all about the environment, all about the environment. In feng shui, the outside has really always been considered more important than the inside, even though maybe your client won't feel it that way. The outside is really very pivotal, and we talk an awful lot about that in our training with respect to finding the perfect home for somebody. Your client with the right home will end up being so much more successful if you go through the steps to actually find the perfect home for them. And if they are more successful, guess who they're going to thank? They're going to thank you. Your advice is going to be then sought out around the area because you have special knowledge. As their agent, this information will set you apart from the other local agents. Be the agent who considers everything and delivers the most. They'll be amazed of the things that you think about. Direction is definitely something that we talk about in our training. And there are some cultures that actually favor directions like South and East, even though they might not be sure why. And then if the person that you're working with is involved with feng shui, they might favor one of their four most positive directions. But you can also become the agent who addresses things like the sun direction, which probably most agents don't. So you could understand all of these aspects and be the only one that does know how to do it. So become the agent who explains the good and the bad. We can all look at that picture and understand what's wrong there. But we talk about a lot of different things that'll make them less successful and less healthy. This one might surprise you. Most people think that a cul-de-sac is totally, totally positive. Well, there are a couple of lots in there and a couple of homes that are really not the best place to be. And you'll find out if you decide to get some training why that is the case and be able to steer people in the right direction. We have a module that we cover with 16 items that should be considered before your client ever decides to sign a contract. And I'm going to cover a couple of them real quickly for you. Here's one you probably never thought about where the pipes and the drainage and the bathroom locations are and how it affects them. But on the other side of the wall with this plumbing and all of this water, and yes, even waste, you can actually put things in the wrong places and it's going to affect them. So what's on the other side of this wall? These pipes? What's on the other side? Well, you take a look at this picture. In this bathroom, all of these pipes, I'm sure you understand what they're being used for. But on the other side is potentially like for example, a master bedroom and where they put their headboard up is really, really pivotal for a lot of things, including their health. So we want to make sure when we help somebody find a home that they can actually situate their bed in the right place without harming them. Number 14. A person cannot be successful without getting a good night's sleep on a very consistent basis. It's just not possible. So we talk an awful lot using befores and afters and photos of all types of bedrooms to let you know what works and what doesn't work and what's going to be a problem for them in the short term and the long term. In this particular picture, the master bedroom is above the garage. There's a reason why we steer them away from a, a house like this. 
And possibly the master bedroom might be so small that their headboard is going to be up against a window, which is also not good. So we explain to you how that might not work. We try to give you some cures for a situation like this because that might be the one house they really want to purchase. But we also want to make sure they understand from you why there is a problem there that needs to be corrected. So as their real estate agent, sometimes the best thing you can do for a client, and I know this is hard, is to tell them a home has too many problems and it'd be to their benefit to keep looking. Certainly in a lot of these cases, they might even override you, but at least you have given them some information to think about. So no house, apartment, condo, whatever, will ever be perfect. They're not gonna check off all 16 of those points. There's always compromise and there is suicide. And you'll know the difference if you decide to take the training. Some problems just cannot be fixed sufficiently. There's just no way. It might be just a Band-Aid and it might work okay, but it might not. But you can learn what can be corrected in an okay manner and what will always be a big ongoing problem for your client. Don't you think it's better to be upfront with the client instead of telling them only what they wanna hear? Don't you think it's great to be truthful with them? Let them make the decision then at that point and they'll definitely understand how much you care about them. Talk a lot about plants inside and outside. Talk a lot about trees outside and how they can really help a person be more comfortable in the winter and in the summer. Explain to them how to use the sun to create a savings on their heating bill. You'll become a hero just by saving them money. You'll be more of a hero by also saving them money during the summer when you also reduce their cooling bills. There's a certain way to go about landscaping that will help them a great deal. Feng Shui is about comfort and making sure they feel really good in their environment. So you're going to learn how to use nature and landscaping to create for your clients more security and privacy. Very, very pivotal for us on a mental side. You're gonna give them more comfort. And once they're more comfortable with their settings, more comfortable with their environment, a lot of things become easier for them. They become more successful. Of course, you're going to help them use less energy and save dollars. That's great, of course. But you're also going to learn the idea of attracting more nourishing chi into the house by using simple tips. So I hope that all made sense to you. There's so much more to feng shui than you possibly have read in a book or magazine. Again, Feng Shui is not just for selling a home, it's also for picking the perfect home also.